On Friday, I packed up all my pets into my pickup truck and headed off on the two-hour drive down to the Computer History Museum in Mountain View. This is what the truck looked like with all the pets loaded. I didn't get any photos or videos unloading on Friday, so this starts Saturday morning during setup. This was my first time having an exhibit at VCF. I got everything set up and ready by 9 a.m., about an hour before the show started, with each pet running a different game or program. Here we are at the show. It's only 9 o'clock, so we're still doing setup. We've got everything on, running, and ready to go. Everybody's here getting set up. Got the Apple One. It's a replica board. There's Michael with his pets. Hey, how you doing? Over here we have all of the Commodore 64s. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Commodore 64s. Wizard of War with the magic voice. Master of the Lamps. Archon. An Amiga monitor on 64, of course. Beachhead. Assignment room. HP Unix stuff here. 3000 disk drives, dynamics printers. Of course, I'm running the Petunia today. have the pet pics and you can see me. There you go. Well, How you? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Let me get my face in there. Oh, look at me in pet ski. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. The Commodore 64s are all on now with your war. <laughs> Oh, 
Good one. Calm. Over the west. Okay. Now a little break in the crowd here. I've been busy here at the uh, at the exhibit. Maybe I'll get a chance to walk around. Here's the C64i. Where's it going? Oh, you got the ultimate on there. You're playing the good game. I'm playing the good game. I'm getting destroyed now. I still need it. That's all the usable footage I got on day one. I was pretty busy all day at the exhibit table. On Sunday morning, I decided to roam the floor before the crowds got there, get pictures of everything.
garage sale too that had dust cover. Yeah, they get down low to get the picture without the glare. But yeah, that angle is just terrible, huh? Coming from the side. C3PO and R2D2 myself because the R2D2 they had in their demo tape the teapot, was not the digitized teapot. very well. And the teapot I got from uh, uh, Blender. Yeah, okay. had a demo file and I exported it and edited it. Every 3D program has the teapot. But you gotta have the teapot. This angle's actually turning out pretty good on the like that 3D one that it just did a sine X over X. You can do lines with it, but lines on some of the other point plots, like wave, mm -hmm. the dots are going up and down, mm -hmm. and so it absolutely doesn't work if you do lines. So I just leave it in default. But all of these were part of a 70, 70s demo tape uh, for fast graphics. The refresh is always dimmer because it's lower energy, oh, okay. so it doesn't store. So that was, I think, the reason that the customers demanded, please give me brighter, you know, mm -hmm. or higher contrast for the refresh. Yeah, and okay. so the orange does that, even though it's lower energy. Interesting, yeah, because it's easier to see. Because it is, it pops out on this screen, but I think the red, the reddish or maroon screen is actually lower contrast. one of our prototype cards. That's very nice. Yeah. Can I see the manuals here? Yeah, so we did also a reproduction of the manuals. I think this one actually came out better than the original. Yeah. Um,
fully accepted. It has begun. And no one in Turkey. And that's about it. That's the end of day two. Nothing left now but to pack it all up and bring it all home. Thanks for watching. <laughs>